morning, we threw in a big rump roast in our crock pot, put a whole bunch of vegetables in there. We got carrots, celery, potatoes, onion, added some water, added some seasoning. And now, about eight hours later, we've got a delicious hey. meal. Look, it's just falling apart. It's so tender. Rump roasts are way better than chuck roasts. Why? I don't know. I think they taste better, and I think chuck roasts like leave a lot of fat and oil. I don't know. Personal preference. It looks great. We got the Adventure Challenge Couple Edition book. Okay, so. This is the Adventure Challenge Couple Edition. They have a bunch of different ones, like solo ones and other kinds, but this is something that you can do with your significant other. And basically you scratch off these silver things and they tell you like a little date that you can do and they tell you how much it's gonna cost, whether you're doing it outside, what time you should do it at. So like there's tons of options to choose from if you like are not wanting to spend anything. There's free ones where you can just go outside and do stuff. And then we bought a Polaroid camera and you stick your picture of you doing the activity. Assign it. So it's something fun to do and like with your significant other. So yeah. Sweet. Sweet trying. We'll definitely be putting some of those things in the vlog. So look forward to those. So as you can see behind me, we have actually moved most of our stuff into the house. It was very empty last time you guys saw it, I believe, but we got our dining table over here, our kitchen. We've got our living room. We still have a few decorations to hang up on the walls and whatnot. Still a few things we gotta find a place for, but for the most part, we are moved in. It's nice to be more settled in here and not have to you know, worry about all that stressful stuff that we had going on a few weeks ago. But in this video, I've got some very exciting stuff to share with you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a quick little update since the marathon, my toes are surprisingly hanging in there. I really thought that I was gonna lose at least one of those toenails, but luckily they're hanging on. They don't look that great, but they're still there, so. I'll take it. So it's been exactly two weeks since the Going More Marathon. And since then, everything has been great. I don't have any weird injuries that popped up. Um, my legs feel good, everything feels good. I've had a lot of time to reflect on the whole marathon training block and the and the race and everything like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with how it went. You know, I missed my goal by 54 seconds, but like I said, I'm, overall, I'm very happy with how it went. It was my first marathon and um, yeah, it was, I'm happy with it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know this next part, but I have signed up for the Eugene, Oregon Marathon on May 1st, 2022. So it's about 10 to 11 weeks out from right now. And the best part is I've hired Jeff Cunningham. If you watch Nick Bear's videos, then you definitely know who Jeff Cunningham is. He coached Nick for his sub three. He's coached people that are going to the Olympic trials. He's coached tons and tons of people to help them get to sub three or much quicker even. And um, yeah, he knows his stuff. He's got lots of great energy and uh, I'm super excited to be working with him. But this last week I officially started training with him. Um, it was just a super easy week doing like 20, 30 minute runs just to get the body back into the training mode. And then next week we jump more into a little bit higher mileage and then we're gonna quickly be hitting 50, 60 miles a week here in the next couple of weeks. So I'm super excited for that. But this morning, I'm gonna go to downtown Austin and I'm gonna meet up with a couple of guys from VPN and we're gonna do a 45 minute run around Lady Bird Lake. So we'll see you there. All right, we are at Zilker Park. We got Yuli. And we got Ryan. Look at my ass. And look at his ass. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, uh, we're gonna go hit about a 45 minute run, like five to six miles um, on the Lady Bird Lake Loop. Still not really sure if that's what it's called, but uh, yeah, should be a fun little run. Let's go hit it. Got that Nick Bear angle stretch. Yeah. <laughs> 
We gotta demonstrate the ankle stretch. Yeah, let's see it. Nice, you gotta watch the rotation. Watch Ooh. the rotation. Ooh, look notice, at that. Notice how the crevice of his foot never really touches the ground. It's just in a circular motion, nice and smooth. Nice. Drive the heel through. That's nice. Full range of motion. The high knees. I just do these. <laughs> these boys are both running the the Eugene half. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Ryan signed up. Did you ever sign up? Signed up today. You said that yesterday. I know. I got busy <laughs> yesterday. I was locked in on an edit. So we're gonna do it today. All right. All Along right. with I'm gonna do my taxes as well. So. <laughs> He came up with what, 850? 857 pace? 857, I was like 901. How many miles? Mine. Uh, just a hair over five, like 5.06 is what I got. Mine was 5.13 miles, 45 minutes, 58 seconds, 857 pace. All right, we just wrapped up our five mile run and we are now checking out Better Half Cafe in uh, downtown Austin. Go grab some coffee, grab some food. Were you starving? All right, Bree and I are out running some errands and we stopped by Zed's ice cream. And I think this might be the best ice cream I've ever had. I came here about a month ago and this is Bree's first time here. It is delicious. Bree, what's your, what are your thoughts? By far not the best I've ever had. Hawaii. You're kidding me. Henry's place or Banan was far better. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. Bree got the one I wanted to get, but I got dairy-free coconut <clears throat> um, base with strawberry fruit. It's like real fruit that they like infuse into the ice cream with a little chocolate drizzle, and it is it's so good. Bree got dairy-free banana infused with peanut butter chocolate chip. That's the one I wanted to get, but I wanted to get something different. These are so good. If you ever come to Austin. You gotta try Zed's. Or, I, or try something different. I think it's delicious. And I think Bree's crazy. Go to Ding Tea. <laughs> That's the best. If you like boba. A few moments later. Okay, we decided to go for round two. Because the last time I was here, this is what I got. We should have got this the first time. But this is blueberry base with chamoy sauce. Which, if you don't know, is a Mexican, like, sweet chili kind of sauce. Um, I don't really know, but it's very good. And, disclaimer, I'm not saying that this place isn't good. It's still good, but I just think Banan, Banan just, is, is my hype. But just, we're gonna try it. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> Oh, it's so you have weird. shit in your teeth. It's so salty and sweet and. S it's delicious, is what it is. It's interesting. Oh, that's so weird. Mm. I like it though. So that is the video. I just wanted to make a quick little update since I haven't talked to you guys since the Go One More Marathon. I wanted to let you know that I'll be running a next another marathon in about two and a half months, 
and I cannot wait. I'm gonna be doing more videos probably at least once a week, kind of just keeping you guys up to date on training and showing you what we do every day. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. That's all I got. Do I have anything in my teeth?